Hi everybody, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and I have some yellow squash here today and I sliced them. They were kind of big. They came out of my husband, a uh, friend garden, Jeannie Grant. So I'll be cooking this. And what I, the, you can use uh, all types of oil. I did this vegetable oil, this avocado, this is extra virgin. And you also can use butter. But I decided to use bacon grease. I fried my bacon off camera. And I'm going to eat this bacon. You know the bacon look good, y'all? I'm going to eat the bacon with my squash. Later, I'm going to say this side. So here's the bacon grease. I already had added a little bit. I poured from the pan. So here's some bacon grease I'm putting in here. And that's what I chose to do. It tastes so good. And I'll be using these green peppers. I sliced them. Put some in here. Put all these in here. And I'll be using these yellow onions. I'm going to let these cook a little bit first with the bacon grease so I can put my squash in. Let, this, let these season up good with that bacon grease. And here's some garlic, fresh garlic. I'll be putting in here. These are the only thing I use in mine. And, he, and these right here are jalapeno peppers. I put just a little. You can't taste it when you're cooking. It just get that extra. Start cooking with some, you know, sometimes you won't even tell it. But just give it an extra taste. That was just a little bit. And I'm gonna let these cook some. Let them cook. And then we'll put my uh, squash over this so the, the steam from the onions and the green peppers and the garlic and the jalapeno peppers and come on, I'm gonna let these cook a little bit. Because it probably take these a little longer than the squash. I might put a little like a little salt on it. Just a little bit on here. Sometimes I season my vegetable too. Just a little bit. A little pepper. And these the only thing I'm using salt and pepper in the vegetables. It's so simple. Don't don't overcook your food or overpower your food with all that different stuff. Cause it sometimes it takes the taste of it and the food starts tasting like the uh season that you put in there. Like I said, I'm gonna get back with you and back to these get a little tender, then I'll put my squash, and that's all to it. Okay. Okay, y'all. I let my vegetable cook. It was green peppers, bell peppers, yellow onion, a little uh, garlic, and some jalapeno peppers. It smells so good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these out and put my garlic and my, uh, I'm sorry, put my squash in there and let it do its thing with this bacon grease in here. And then I'm going to lay these back on here. I just want to do a little thing. Cause my vegetables is good enough. I don't want my vegetables to overcook. How y'all been doing? I think the last video I did was uh, my meatloaf. And now I'm getting ready. I'm working my garden. So that's why I haven't got uh, my flowers and stuff. I want to show them. They are so beautiful. I think I did myself this year. I've been working in them. That's why I haven't gotten another video. I, I think the next thing I'm going to do for you all will be some of these struggling off. I'm going to put these in here no matter. If I got a little left, because I want them to do their job now with this bacon grease and the thing. And once these get tender, I'm going to take those onions and stuff I took out and garlic and the jalapeno pepper and the bell pepper. I'm going to take and let these cook a little bit, and then I'm going to pull that back on it so it can season it really good. That's how I do mine. Put all these in here. Yep. And I'm gonna let them cook now. I'm going to put a top on them. And I'm going to let them season up, cook some, and I'll be ready. I put some pepper, salt and pepper, and that's all I'm using. I, salt and pepper, y'all, because that's all you need. No, like I said, don't put all that garlic. I got fresh garlic in here, and that's enough. Um, squash is so good with just onion. All my mama used to cook was she put butter in it or bacon grease, most of the bacon grease, and uh, put the garlic. I saw bacon grease, onions, and uh, and that's all. She's salt and pepper. But what I'm using is I changed. I put some, uh, I got the bacon grease, of course, and also got green peppers, onions, and garlic, and some jalapeno peppers. And when this, once it's cooked down, I'm going to get back with you all. Hi, y'all. Now, I have cooked the uh, squash for about, they cooked for about 20 good minutes until they got tender. Now, I'm going to season them with some pepper. Like I said, all I'm going to put is pepper on here. And they smell so good, y'all. Put some pepper on here. Then I'll put a little salt on here. Because these are vegetables, and you don't never want to over-season your vegetables. And like I said, I cooked it with bacon grease, and you can smell it. So I'm going to turn these over. 
like this, turn them over. Squash. Yeah, these were some big squash, though. But they was fresh, came right out the garden. Put a little salt on this side. When you spread it all over, you know you're not over seasoning. And then put some pepper over here. That's a simple, 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 simple. And these, you remember those onions? And green peppers, and garlic, and jalapeno pepper. Now I'm gonna put this in here. Put it right on top so this season is gonna cover it back up. And it'll be good to go in a few minutes. It won't take nothing for it. And put these in here on top of them, cover them so this season is gonna cover them so the steam can, these can go right on it. I said, this is all in cooking squash to make it taste good. You can cook it any way you choose, but I found out this is the best way with that uh, bacon grease and stuff and them onions. I let this cook over it. Uh, so the onions and the peppers and the garlic and jalapeno pepper, that steam can go red in it. And that'll be red. I'm going to give this about a good 10 minutes and that'll be good to go. Okay, I'll get back with y'all. Okay, y'all. It's almost ready. About a few more minutes. I'm going to put a little butter on here to get that little, you know, you don't have to, just to give it a little um, extra taste, just a little bit. I'm going to let these cook into the butter melt. I'm going to put that much on there. Just to give it another little taste. Okay, y'all put some milk in the middle. And that's it. Cut a few slices, about six slices on there. And I'm going to let this melt on here. And I'm gonna see when you see it again, honey, to be on the plate. Let this cook. And it's so I taste some of them. They are so good. Okay, y'all. Here's a finishing touch of my squash and yellow squash. And I had the bacon. I'm gonna eat bacon with this. I fried, I fried the squash and bacon. I hope y'all enjoyed my presentation. Mm, 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 they're tender and it's good and it's seasoned good. Just all you need is some onions some green peppers, bell peppers. I put a little a jalapeno pepper in here and I also put fresh garlic. That's all you need. And I cooked it with bacon grease. And here's my bacon and it's so good. That's why I like my uh, my squash with bacon grease, bacon. Bacon grease and then fry it with the bacon. Okay then, thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. And I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Make sure you hit that notification bell. When, a video, when I upload a video, you all be the first one to see it. And you'll get that notification. And subscribe to my channel and help me with my subscriber. Thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. Mm -hmm.